Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss to you how to download and where to download and install the Notepad++, how to create, save, and test the XML file with a browser, and how to close and open the XML file. So the first topic here will be how, where and how to download the uh, Notepad++ and eventually to install it. So there's a website there. Uh, yeah, if you will uh, visit this site, uh, notepad++.org slash downloads. This one here. I'll be putting this link in the description below. And you just have to follow this link so that you can visit this site because this site is the site where you can download uh, the notepad plus plus and uh, if you visit the site you will see a lot of uh, versions for this but me personally I am using the notepad plus plus 7.6.2 version and the reason for that is that I am using this uh, in my previous examples uh, at the same time uh, I am sure that uh, when you reach or when you or when you have the topic for schema okay so your schema will work on this notepad plus plus virtual a okay, 7.6.2 okay so per perhaps you can try the other versions here and see if the schema will work uh, in this in these other versions of notepad plus plus so let's go ahead and go uh, to this version here notepad 7 uh, notepad plus plus sorry 7.6.2 all right so so if you are using a 32-bit uh, computer then you can just go here and uh, click this installer here so that you can download the installer. It is an executable file. So all you need to do after you download it, just double click that file and it will install the Notepad++. There is not or there's nothing much there except to just click on the next button. The, the installation process is very simple. Just read about the uh, instruction there and usually it's just clicking on the next button until you reach the finish button. However, if you are using a 64-bit computer, then you should uh, click on this installer. So you just have to be careful on your uh, version. You just have to check first your computer or your, or your laptop. If it is using a window, uh, Windows version of 64-bit or 32-bit. So if it is 64-bit, you just have to click over here to download the 64-bit version of this Notepad++ installer. Okay, so, so uh, this is where you will get your Notepad++ installer. So uh, assuming, now let's go ahead and uh, assuming that uh, you already installed and it is already working in your computer. I mean, it's already installed. So all you need to do, let's go ahead and uh, open now the uh, Notepad++. So you just have to find here from the list of your apps, the Notepad++. It should be here, right? So it is alphabetical arranged. The apps are alphabetical arranged. So you can just click on the Notepad++ here. All right. So when you click on this, so uh, this will appear now. This is the Notepad++ environment. It is here where XML documents can be uh, typed. Okay, so you can create your own XML document here. So when creating an XML document, one, one IDE that you can use is this one, Notepad++. 
Okay, so that's the first topic that we have discussed. So you know now where to download and how to uh, install no? the Notepad++. The next one will be how to create a, an XML document and then we will save it and then we will test it. So for instance, I have here, let us see, I mean, uh, let us have this one as an example. So initially, a file uh, can be uh, written here or an XML document can be written here. There is already a new file where you can type so assuming we have type already this one here so as you can see it's it's like this so assuming you have this xml document so you have typed it you finished it now let us save this one this is an xml a simple xml document as you notice in the tab here it is in red color that means it's not yet saved and at the same time you will notice also that the tab name here is new one. So it means you will have an idea already that it is not yet saved. So let us save it. So to save it, you can press the control S or you can go to the file menu here and you click save us or save. If it is the first time, save us. So let's go ahead and click the save us. So in, in this case, as you all know, uh, I'm sure you are familiar with this. So you can save the file in the folder where you want it to be saved so let's go ahead and i'm going to save it in my own uh, folder here so i have a folder here um, try to look at it uh, my files here okay it's a little bit deep so so i'm going to save it here in this folder problems and solution you can save it anywhere you want drive d or if you have drive e or in your uh, external hard drives, there will be no problem. So you just have to save it anywhere you want and make sure that you remember where you save it. So in the file name here, you just have to save, you, had, you just have to mention the, uh, the file name. So example one, let's call it example one.xml. And then in the save as type, make sure that you save it as here, this one, you can select this one, extensible markup language. You can select this one as, as the file type. Or you can just go here in the all types at the top most. Okay, the first uh, choice in the list, all types. So you just have to make sure that it is all types here. And then your file name will end with that XML. That's the file name extension for an XML file. So I think everything is good. So I'm just going to click the save button here. So one thing that you will notice after you save it is that the tab here, the name of the tab here will be the file name. Okay, the file name that you put there when you save it. And then at the same time, it is color, uh, the, the color of the icon is blue. That means it is already saved. If you add more content into your XML document, you will notice that it became red again. Right? The icon of your tab here. So that means the, the changes that you put or the new changes that you place here is not or are not yet saved. So simply just click this button here if you want to save or press Control S to save. So I'm going to click or I'm going to press the Control S from the keyboard okay so uh, this one is uh, this is nothing if your XML plugins is not yet set set because uh, I used this before uh, this notepad plus plus so this came out because my plugins is set in this uh, notepad plus plus so this is nothing so that's it it's already saved okay that's the reason why it came out there so it should not be coming out Okay, so um, so let's save it again. So it's like that. Okay, so now, as you can see also, another thing that you will notice is that it has now uh, a color. No? So you will see, I mean, you will see now here, uh, you, 
the difference between your data and your elements. For example, company element is in blue and the data will be in black color. By default, it is like this. And then your attributes will be in red and the value of each attribute will also be in blue. So that's the uh, color coding for the entries here for the data as well as elements. Okay, once you save it. If it is not yet saved, you will notice everything will be in black. Okay, the content will be in black. The text, everything will be in. Until such time you will save it as XML, then uh, these colors here to distinguish the elements and data and attributes, uh, you will see the colors uh, for each of those. Okay, so let's go ahead and test this if it is working. So you, you really have to check it if it is correct. So if it is really valid, this XML document, that's the reason why we are going to test it. So to test it, you need a browser now. Okay, so you need a browser. So let's go ahead and I'm going to use the, the same browser that I uh, used. So I'm going to open another tab and the easiest way to do this to test it is to go to your folder now where you save it so i think uh, i save it here okay so this is the file this is the folder where i save it so all i need to do is to click and drag the file the xml file so it will be somewhere here all right so if you see something like this using google chrome then that means your XML document is correct. So if you notice, it is somewhat the same, right? This is your XML document here, and this is the uh, compiled version or the running version of it, the tested version. Okay, so, so it's somewhat the same. So if they are somewhat the same, then that means they are, or the XML document is correct. For instance, let us see, let's make some uh, error or mistake here in our XML document. For example, uh, like this. So they are not matching. No? So the element name here, the, the beginning element is small letters, all small letters, while the ending element, same spelling, but it uses a capital letter. So uh, there is something wrong here. All right. So going to save it okay so let us save it and then let us test it again here because this Chrome here or this, this browser here I, di I did not yet or I did not close it okay so all I need to do now is just to refresh it okay because I did not close it so if you close it then you will you will uh, click and drag again the XML document so because I did not close it I'm just going to refresh it to to have the changes uh, be seen here or be shown here so let's see go to refresh so you see there is a mistake here so this is the screen for showing the error now I mean the browser will show you this if there are some error or errors in your XML document so here there's nothing to fear here because it is telling you here where is the mistake and what is the mistake or the error. So it gives you an idea. So obviously there is something wrong in line 4 at column 35. So you have to go back to your notepad++ where your code is and try to check the line number 4. So when checking for the error, you have to check from that line number going up. So 4, 3, 2, 1. So the error will only be there. So do not check from 5, 6, and 7. Line 5, 6, and 7 because these lines were not yet compiled. They were not yet uh, checked. Okay, so for errors. So you check from line number 4 going up. So you have to analyze where it is. No? So it gives you an idea here actually. Opening and ending tag mismatch. So there is a mis mismatch in the opening and ending elements or tags. So obviously we have to correct this one here. 
So they should be the same in spelling and in casing. So let's save it again. And this time, let's see if it is now correct. So this time you just have to click the refresh button here. And it went again into something like this. So here it is. So if you have something like this, then your XML document is correct. You can also do the testing using Firefox or Internet, Internet Explorer. So which of those, I mean, uh, any of those uh, browser, uh, you, can, you can use any of those browsers. Okay, so how about closing and opening the XML file? So this is, I think, uh, very simple. So when you are going to close it, maybe you are already finished with what you are doing. So you can just close it here. Okay, you can close the tab for that document and eventually you can close the notepad plus plus there okay the simplest way to open now that document is perhaps well you can go here there are many ways actually well you can you can double click it if the default editor for this is the notepad plus plus you can double click it and it will open okay so another way to do that is uh, another way to do that is open your notepad plus plus here notepad plus plus and open the folder where you uh, saved it and all you need to do is to click and drag here then release so you will have it there or another way to do it is by going to the file menu and open and then you just have to find where you save the XML document and open from, from there. Okay. Another one, maybe if, uh, let's see, right click on it, right click on the file where you save it. And if the Notepad++ is here as one of your choice, edit with Notepad++, you can also do that. So let's try it. I'm going to right click it, edit with Notepad++. So you just have to click it and you open it. Yeah, I mean, it will be open. Okay. You will know where it is saved. Okay. You will know where it is saved because if you look at the title bar of the window, you will see here the path where you save it or where it is currently saved. So you will never get lost uh, as to where is your file or as to where it is currently saved. So I think uh, that's all for this uh, video because we already have all the topics here discussed. So please don't forget to uh, subscribe in this channel. Thank you very much for watching and see you on the next video.